So let's look at this measure of energy in the 2.4 gigahertz band. We'll come back on that tool in a little while. But this one is displaying an access point on channel 7. So that's the trace you see at the bottom here, that green thing that appears as being red here. So that access point is sending some waves, and all the waves you see on the other side, outside of my main trace here, is going to be noise. It's going to be noise, but it's not going to be interference, because it's a flat environment where there are some obstacles and objects that reflect maybe some other energy from other sources, but it's a relatively consistent signal outside of my burst from my access point. But now let's look at another type of capture. This time, I'm measuring the same type of frequency range, the 2.4 band, but this is a microwave oven. And you see the amount of energy that this is creating here? There is no Wi-Fi here. As you can see on the left side, there is no Wi-Fi at all. But if I ever tried to have a Wi-Fi access point on the same frequency as my microwave oven, there is nothing I could do because it's much more powerful than I am. So this is for us important to understand because noise is, generally speaking, what is not useful to your signal. Typically, that's the surrounding environment creating some background all across. Interference is a precise object that you can identify that is going to create some waves in the frequencies that you need to use. And those waves are going to be disruptive to your signal. Of course, interference creates noise, but instead of being a sort of flat surrounding thing, interference spike, and also interference can be described. They can be described as to a typical device that does a typical behavior, and that will create a typical type of energy radiation in some frequencies. It's important because in the Cisco world, we know interferences, we detect them, and because we know what they are, we know what their behavior is going to be. A microwave oven, for example, has more chances of being used during lunch breaks and snack breaks than during the night. So knowing the behavior of a device allows us to avoid the frequencies that are affected in times where we know that these devices may be using those frequencies. Whereas noise is just something that you have to take into account, generally speaking, to know that your signal may or may not behave properly depending on how much better than the noise your signal is.